Hey guys, Matt here with a quick video tutorial showing how you can quickly and easily use programs like Mixamo to pose your high poly sculpts. This workflow is designed to be simple and works with most characters of any complexity. Using ZBrush's internal tools, it became very hard and clunky to pose characters cleanly, so I came up with this method. So to begin, we'll need a character. Here I have the character of Quarantine Batman, but this could be any character. I just want to show that this works with a character with some props on it. But before we begin and jump into Transpose Master, it's easier to do this whole process if you have a lower res model to work with. So if you're transposing a Dynamesh model or something of the like, I strongly recommend that you Z remesh it or retopo it somewhat lower as to make the next steps a lot easier. Once you have your model processed with subdivision levels, you're going to go to Transpose Master in the Z plugin tab, click T Pose Mesh let that process for a couple of seconds. Once in Transpose Master, we'll need to do a couple of things before we can get into Mixamo and pose the model. First, what we'll need to do is go into Z Plugin, UV Master, and unwrap the Transpose model. Now, it doesn't really matter if you already have UVs on your model. The importance of this is to re-UV the model and lay them out so that all the objects are laid out evenly together. We'll need UVs that do not overlap because we're going to be using these UVs later on in the tutorial. I've already run UV Master so I can show you what the UVs look like. They are not pretty, but they don't overlap, so they're perfect for what we need. Once I have this model uh, UV'd, I'm going to go down to the Export tab, and I'm going to turn off Export Subgroups. When kept on, ZBrush will export the model with each poly group as a separate mesh. For this tutorial, we'll need everything as one model. Once that's done, you can pop over to the 3D program of your choice. So now that we're in our 3D application, in this case Maya, first thing I always do is make sure that the UVs came over, even as ugly as they are, just make sure they came over. Um, and so what we have here now is a master file. This file matches the vert order of the transpose model in ZBrush. Keep this scene open, don't touch it, and now take that same OBJ that you brought into Maya and bring that into Mixamo. So for those who have never used Mixamo, it is a really quick and simple auto-rigging software that lives online. Once rigged, you can put your character in a bunch of different poses or get a bunch of different animations and actually export that information back out into a program like Maya. So once you've uploaded a character, Mixamo will walk you through an orientation and marker phase in which you place items on the character to signify where the joints on the character should live. So now I'm going to click Next, and the next thing I should see is the character in a default animation. The quality of the rigging might differ from character to character, with some more complex characters requiring cleanup after the fact. Now let's find a pose that we would see our quarantine Batman in usually. Maybe like a fighting pose or something that shows us that he's ready for action. In Mixamo, once I found a pose that I like, I can then go through the controls and customize it further for my needs. Once you're happy, simply click download and you should be given a rigged FBX file that you can bring back into the 3D program of your choice. Okay, so here's one more disclaimer. The next couple of steps I'm going to be doing are specific to Maya, but you can achieve similar results in other 3D applications. Select the model you've just imported and clear the rigging from it, either by deleting history or by pressing Alt-Shift-D. With the rigging removed, you can safely delete the rig. Now there's a pretty good chance that through all the importing and exporting and posing through Mixamo that the vert order of this new mesh has changed from the original master file. Now we have to maintain the vert order because if the vert order changes and we attempt to re-import this model back into ZBrush, Transpose Master won't know what to do with this new file. So how do we get the original vert order onto our newly posed model? In Maya, we're going to use a tool called Transfer Attributes. It's an incredibly powerful tool and could do an entire video on just this tool alone. So if that's something you'd like to see, please mention it in the comments below. With Transfer Attributes open, select your posed model then select your master file. In transfer attributes, turn on transferring vertex position and use UV as the sample space, as the one thing these two models share are those really ugly UVs. 
Once you've done that transfer, you should have two identical models, the original and the new master file, same vert order, but now in the pose that we did in Mixamo. Now take our new master file and export it into ZBrush and import it right over top our transpose file. Once back in ZBrush, you can go through and clean up the model some. Some of the vertices might have been pulled this way or that, depending on how the weight transfer happened within Mixamo. But I also like to take this time to reevaluate the model in terms of volumes and how the model is deforming. Once the model is all cleaned up, click on Transpose to Subtool. You may get a message that pops up asking you to transfer the UVs from the transpose model back to your high poly. This is completely up to you and should not affect the transfer process either way. If you did all the steps correctly, you should see your high poly reassemble itself in the new pose that was done in Mixamo. Here I've spent about five more minutes cleaning up the model and it's a pretty cool result considering it's only been about 10 minutes worth of work. From here, I can uh, clean this up further piece by piece. I can go back to the transpose model and sort of tweak things further and then bring that back into uh, my high poly. Um, or uh, I can go back into Mixamo and choose a whole bunch of other poses and try them out on uh, this character and see what looks best. Um, or even take the rigging from Mixamo and do a custom pose and bring it in here. This workflow sort of allows you to do a bunch of different things uh, in terms of posing another software. So I hope you found that tutorial uh, useful. I uh, hope you didn't find it too confusing. Uh, I have a uh, ArtStation blog post that kind of outlines this a little bit uh, simpler and like a step-by-step -step function. I will be linking that down below. Uh, and if you guys have any other questions or suggestions on things I should cover next, uh, just leave them in the comments below and I will see about generating more video tutorials in the future. Thank you guys for watching. Like the video if you do and subscribe for more. Thanks.